Abomination. A noun. To Eba, Strong's 8441, Abomination, Loathsome, Detestable Thing. Cognates of this word appear only in Phoenician and Targamic Aramaic. The word appears 117 times and in all periods. First, to Eba defines something or someone as essentially unique in the sense of being dangerous, sinister, and repulsive to another individual. This meaning appears in General 4332, the first occurrence. The Egyptians might not eat bread with the Hebrews, for that is an abomination unto the Egyptians. To the Egyptians, eating bread with foreigners was repulsive because of their cultural or social differences, cf Genesis 4634, Psalm 888. Another clear illustration of this essential clash of disposition appears in Proverbs 29:27. An unjust man is an abomination to the just and he that is upright in the way is abomination to the wicked. When used with reference to God, this nuance of the word describes people, things, acts, relationships, and characteristics that are detestable to him because they are contrary to his nature. Things related to death and idolatry are loathsome to God. Thou shalt not eat any abominable thing. Deuteronomy 14:3. People with habits loathsome to God are themselves detestable to him. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, for all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. Deuteronomy 22:5. Directly opposed to Tuiba are such reactions as delight and loveth, Proverbs 15 8-9. Second, Tuiba is used in some contexts to describe pagan practices and objects. The graven images of their gods shall ye burn with fire, thou shalt not desire the silver or gold that is on them, nor take it unto thee, lest thou be snared therein for it is an abomination to the Lord thy God. Neither shalt thou bring an abomination into thine house. Deuteronomy 7:25-26. In other contexts, to Eba describes the repeated failures to observe divine regulations, because ye multiplied more than the nations that are round about you, and have not walked in my statutes, neither have kept my judgments, neither have done according to the judgments of the nations that are round about you, because of all thine abominations. Ezekiel 5:7-9. To Eba may represent the pagan cultic practices themselves, as in Deuteronomy 12:31, or the people who perpetrate such practices for all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord, and because of these abominations the Lord thy God doth drive them out from before thee, Deuteronomy 18:12. If Israelites are guilty of such idolatry, however, their fate will be worse than exile death by stoning, Deuteronomy 17:2-5. Third, to Eba is used in the sphere of jurisprudence and of family or tribal relationships. Certain acts or characteristics are destructive of societal and familial harmony, both such things and the people who do them are described by to Eba. These six things doth the Lord hate, yea, seven are an abomination unto him a proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that daviseth wicked imaginations and he that soweth discord among brethren, Proverbs 6 16-19. God says, The scorner is an abomination to men, Proverbs 24 9, because he spreads his bitterness among God's people, disrupting unity and harmony. B. Verb. Taib, Strong's 8581, to abhor, treat as abhorrent, cause to be an abomination, act abominably. This verb occurs 21 times, and the first occurrence is in Deuteronomy 7:26. Neither shalt thou bring an abomination into thine house. 